this is my thoughts on WoW Classic. One thing I will say, though, that Blizzard did a great job shoehorning this, this old code base into the new new platform, new environment. Uh, restoring the old maps, I think it'll, it'll spark a little bit of nostalgia, which I think is the big reason people are going to want to play this game. Uh, and it's, it's going to be free, so that, that's good. And there should be some quality of life uh, additions, like uh, there'll be some initial phasing zones, and there will be some loot trading will be an option. Um, and Wowhead will be of it. There'll be a Wowhead classic. Now, I played an Alliance Priest, level 60 on Skullcrusher, and we were the second second best guild on Skullcrusher during Blackwood Lair. Kind of fell apart a little bit in AQ40, and then Nax40 was pretty much the end of us. The difficulty kind of ramped up there. The one really good thing about classic is, you know, epic items were 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 epic. I mean, they they felt like it, you you earned something, meant something. I mean, when you were standing around Iron Forge or wherever, and people were like, "Wow, you your gear is awesome." It felt felt good. Uh, PvP was pretty fun. It wasn't really balanced well, but it, it was fun. Uh, world PvP, or instance PvP, I should say, was fun. World PvP, however, was not fun because you could be just minding your own business and like nine people will come up and just roll you. And one of the bad things that people don't remember, I bet, is that gold was scarce and the world was large. So you had to be hoofing your ass a lot of places. There were a lot less flight paths, a lot less graveyards. And so you could spend up to 10 minutes walking back to your body because you screwed up and pulled and someone ran and pulled a bunch of other crap and you got rolled. Uh, leveling was slow and grindy. And combat mechanics weren't as polished as they are now. And also the global cooldown is, is on just about everything. So, I mean, you don't like the global cooldown in retail, you won't like this. And let me just say, I'm not a retail shill. I do not like the way BFA is right now. Uh, the end game looting system is garbage. There's no incentive to do anything else anymore. And other people have said what their issues are way better than I can. But we'll just leave it at that. If I was if this expansion came out in like February or March, I would be unsubscribed. But since it's winter now. Sun still sets at 5 p.m., so there's not much to do after that. So, anyway, quests don't always flow from hub to hub, and some of the zones are are pretty much worthless. Like, like if you're on if you're Alliance, you have no reason to go to a place like Ashar. Right? A lot of quality of life features that some people take for granted are, are not going to be there. And obviously, LFR, Group Finder, or Summoning Stones. And if you want to find a group for something specific, you got to spam trade or general to find those groups. And some people view this as a positive thing. It can be a huge pain in the ass. The community aspect is what some people are looking forward to because I guess you can't be a dick. People know who you are, but now in retail, you can be a relatively anonymous dick to just about anybody, whatever you want. Uh, there are also keys. I mean, you couldn't do Strath or Scalo unless you had a key or someone to pick the lock. And loot was free for all, need before greed, round robin, and master. And in your groups, it was usually, uh, I mean, if it was with your friends, obviously, it was, it was free for all. Uh, but in some groups, they'd be master loot, especially pug. And sometimes ninja looting happened, and it was pretty pretty bad, especially about, there were certain items that were dropped in, I want to say, Black Rock Depths. Uh, one of them was the Hand of Justice, and I know all our melee wanted that, but they, I, I seen it get ninja looted more than once. And then sometimes items would be reserved when you're looking for groups, so I mean, if you're in melee and you're looking for you know, BRD, uh, if the guy's reserving the item, no melee is going to want to go with him. So... And one pro of the community is is if you were a known ninja looter or just a general asshole, 
people knew who you were, and they knew not to group with you. So another thing that's concerning is that you know in two thousand four and five, I mean everything was new. Now nothing is new. I mean everyone knows what to do, what the progression path is, how to gear, what's overpowered, what's not. Another issue with the classic game is going to be the class selection. Now I know that the all the all those talent trees are the original ones, and it seems like you have a lot of options, but you really don't. There's there's about eight viable class and specs that we we would take on raids, and those would be combat or assassination rogues, marksman hunter, frost mage, holy pally, holy priest, resto druid, and I want to say it's destro lock. I don't didn't really like our warlocks because they were kind of really rude, but I know why. Tanks were almost always warriors, and because I honestly didn't, I have never saw a paladin tank or a druid tank. Some people claim that druids are okay, but um, I've never seen one in vanilla anyway. And there were some pretty laughable specs, like shadow priests, rat paladins, balanced druids, survival hunters. And, you know, respecking was possible. I leveled a shadow and rated as deep holy, but it got incrementally more expensive and it kind of prohibited people from being casual and just, you know, hey, let's jack around with this spec. Because, again, it's pretty cookie cutter. And raids were, uh, or I'm sorry, racials were seriously imbalanced to the rogues. I mean, rogues. Dwarf priests made PvE content really easy. Like Nefarian, Anixia, other bosses with fear mechanics. I, I think there were one in AQ 40. And then remember that you had to carry reagents too. So I was a priest, I had to carry cat candles. And your buffs, priest buffs, druid buffs were group only. So if you had eight groups of five, you had to cast buff eight times. Paladin symbols, I believe their blessings only last five minutes, and I believe they were class based. So we. Every every pull, it was oh, warriors need kings, druids need wisdom. I don't remember what they were, but then mages had to conjure a ton of water, and then because I think they could only conjure two at a time, and then physically hand it out in trade to people. So there were some ten man dungeons; those those were all right, but the top tier raids were forty man, and there were two twenty man raids: AQ twenty, ZG. Uh, attunements also were a thing. You couldn't just walk into Blackwing Lair like I did here. You had to do well, the Blackwing Lair quest one was easy, but the the Adixia one was just kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, Molten Core wasn't that bad, but still, you had to do it. You, you couldn't just expect to log in and get carried to Molten Core when you hit sixty and you're rocking the greens. And if you wanted to be in the high end raiding guild. You needed to spend a lot of time farming either gold or bats, and you needed to bust out the flasks. You needed to have the best in chance. You needed to have potions because there was no potion cooldown limit. I mean, you could pop a potion every two minutes or whatever the time was. Resist gear. A lot of people forget that resist gear was a thing. So if you're doing molten core, past I want to say Baron Geddon, you needed your fire resist gear, and then. Everyone in your raid needs an Anixia scale cloak if they want to do Blackwing Lair. Have fun with that. Uh, AQ40 needed Nature Resist, and if you were going to go deep into Nax, you needed Frost Resist, but a lot of people aren't going to go see that. Uh, the mechanics are really kind of simple, kind of straightforward too. Uh, there were very little Rage Timers. Uh, this kind of soft and Rage Timers. Balistraz and Patchwork were both ones that actually did kind of have were DPS checks, but strat checks, strat, solid strats, you could get down most of the bosses. So, first two raids, you could bring some hard carries. We're doing even with less than 40 people, but by the time you got into the latter half of AQ40, and even in Nax, the difficulty started getting really, really hard. And People forget how large AQ was, and there was you couldn't mount in there unless you had a specific AQ-40 mount. Not everyone had one of those, so if you died to Hooteron, you were walking your ass all the way back to to her. So, and 
yeah, that's uh, the next forty will be the crown jewel of the expansion and or of Wild Classic. And they'll probably be a race to beat Kel'Thuzad for the first time, and by the you know really high end guilds. And others may complete it, but but after that, then what? I mean, you're not gonna farm the X40 unless you're just a special kind of masochist. So I mean, I, I got a feeling that the, the Wild Classic is gonna break down into a a split of the haves and the have-nots, and I mean, people forget it. it's it's a pain to to manage 40 people and keep 40 people happy getting gear so that you can do the next tier so and then keeping people focused on doing whatever tier you're working on so a lot of people are going to do molten core a couple times and then they're not going to want to do it anymore even though they're still busting out their blues what have you just the natural tendency of people wanting to you know do the next tier of content as fast as possible and I mean, I don't know how well that's going to work because, I mean, if they keep the difficulties the same, uh, you're going to need you're going to need to run through the gearing process to get all your people, especially your tanks and healers, the best gear they can get. So, I mean, trying to find trying to find that that happy balance for 40 people, 40 to 50 people, even, just is it seems like it's going to be a, a daunting task, and one that I wouldn't want to do it. So, I mean, if, if the people's if the goal of anyone playing the game is just, hey, let's level up to sixty, do a couple instances. That's that. Then, then, hey, that's good. But I mean, to me, I I think leveling is a pain in the ass. And in all the games I played, that request this text muds leveling is just annoying. And the end game is the game. But if people enjoy leveling and seeing all the old content the way it was, then that I guess that'll be the target for WoW Classic. But I mean, I had the most fun in, in WoW raiding with my with my uh, vanilla WoW guild, and I just don't see WoW Classic recreating that experience. So your mileage will vi will vary. Thanks for listening. <laughs>